men and women both get oily. People from all over Asia visit Korea for beauty tours. There is no anti-aging cream. That's about it. And I had skin treatments. Hmm. Tasty. $15. That's the price of beauty. Plastic surgery is more common these days in the United States, but in Korea, personal re-engineering is even a bigger business than it is here. It is so popular that most doctors advertise their services in magazines. People from all over Asia visit Korea for beauty tours. A beauty tour is booked like a traditional vacation. They include airfare, lodging, sightseeing trips, but also a visit to the doctor. These guests often stay in large furnished apartments with up to three bedrooms, living room, and kitchens with fully stocked fridges. But what surgeries are Asians flocking to Korea to have? Nose jobs are the most popular, as are eye, chin, and forehead augmentations. For Duck Young Kim, a highly respected plastic surgeon in Seoul, South Korea, his clinic is state-of-the-art and world-renowned. He consults with dozens of patients daily. This craze of re-engineering even spans to teenagers. Many Korean parents are giving plastic surgery to their kids as graduation gifts. But starting with these procedures at such a young age may cause them to grow up wanting and needing more surgeries. Having a better physical appearance is not only popular in South Korea, but also here in the Western world. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon in San Francisco, and my practice scopes from aesthetic surgery to reconstructive surgery. My customers for aesthetic surgery range from patients from 14 years old up to 92 years old. For example, people in their 20s usually have uh, breast augmentation or liposuction or nasal surgery. In the 30s, people are starting to have eyelid surgery performed. 40s, they're having a little bit of everything, maybe tummy tucks after having children. What are some of the examples of aesthetic surgery? There are many forms of aesthetic surgery. Uh, they can range from making things bigger uh, to making things smaller. In terms of smaller, one of the more common operations for younger patients is liposuction, uh, where a device is put in and the fat is removed. But now there are devices that even don't involve an incision. You put a device on top of the skin, and with suction, massage, and laser energy, you can reduce the amount of fat without ever making an incision. What are some of the latest technologies? Well, we have some new technologies. We just completed a study uh, for treating cellulite. Now, cellulite is not a common problem for men, but many women feel that they have cellulite, which is an irregularity of their thighs or abdomen. And this new technology is non-invasive, and it actually smooths the skin over a series of treatments. And the study just completed last year that will be published in June of this year in the medical journal shows that the results have lasted for six months without any touch-ups. What do you mean by irregularities? Well, see, you're a male, so you wouldn't know what cellulite is. But I bet you if you had talked to some women, uh, they don't like the irregularities of the lateral thigh. It looks wavy, like ripply of water and lumps and bumps and divots. So when they wear their swimsuits or shorts, they don't like to have that contour irregularity. And that's what's partly what cellulite looks like. Is there a rather personal question, but have you ever had aesthetic surgery yourself? Well, indirectly, I was playing basketball, and I had my nose broke, so I had to have it put back together again. That's about it. That's about it. And I had skin treatments. So I had sun damage on my skin. So I've had some skin treatments. It's the best thing I've ever done. Men and women both get dry, men and women both get oily. Our skin is just the same, but these products are geared towards our male clientele. Okay, so this works for every skin type? 
Uh, this is for every skin type. Now the two differences in uh, skin between male and female, men seem to have more of an acidic skin type. So um, guys like something that's gonna be really lightweight. And I want you to feel this also. This is our sunscreen. It's the SPF uh, 30, but I want you to feel how light that is. Notice how this leaves no sheen on the skin. It smells really good. You're supposed to put this on your face, right? Absolutely, and actually let's go ahead and try a couple of products out. alcohol in there? It's actually alcohol free, oh, so yeah, it's it not going to dry your skin. Next, we'll use our sunscreen. You should use this daily and it's going to protect you from environmental damage. Feel your face now. It seems like a lot of work, but I think I really should put this on on a daily basis because I really feel the difference. It will make a difference in your skin. Are you seeing more and more men using skincare? Okay, I've been in the business for about 15 years, and in 15 years I've noticed more men using skincare, absolutely. Thanks a lot, Justin. Thank you for having me today.